Hi everyone, it's Marianne. Today I'm going to be showing you a video here on how I add line work onto my enamels. Um, in the left side of the screen, you're going to see me actually mixing what's called P1 underglaze enamel with uh, copaiba oil and um, anise oil. Um, the combination has been proven to work really, really well with a crow quill pen, as you can see me drawing um, on the other side. It lets you get some really, really fine lines. Um, so what you do is you make a little mixture of this. I use just a regular ceramic tile from Home Depot, an artist palette knife, and then I mix it in such a way that I can get a nice, almost runny, um, but a little bit viscous kind of mixture. You'll know if your mixture is too runny or too thick based on whether or not it's flowing. As you can see on the left, I'm having a little bit of trouble. So I end up pausing in a little bit and remixing uh, my mixture. But as you can see on the left, I just take a little bit and place it on my uh, pen. I don't dip the pen because I don't need that much um, to work, but look how fine that line is. So the Crowquill pen um, is simply a pen that has a bunch of different nibs on it. Um, you can change them, they're interchangeable. Um, and then what you do is you simply keep loading it and then uh, drawing as if it were a pen, because duh, it is. Um, so anyway, watch and I'll talk to you again in a little bit. This is where you see me uh, pause because I'm struggling trying to get that sun working well. So I paused and I ended up making a little bit thinner mixture so it would flow better. And as you can see, it's starting to flow much better. Notice how the lines are a little chunky there. So I'm not happy with how that line on that sun looks. So what I can do is I could either wipe it off and start over, or what I'm doing here is I've taken a teeny, teeny, tiny little brush. Sorry, it's gone off the screen. I'll get better at this. But anyway, I've taken a teeny, tiny brush and I'm slowly wiping away the areas I don't like and refining my lines. I also use the brush to shadow um, in areas I want some shadows. So you'll see as I progress, I might add some more shadows into the eye and um, around the eyelid and things like that. I usually typically like to do this entire section in one firing. I don't um, typically add more of this uh, black because then the difference in the color will change. Um, some will be darker and some will be lighter. And when I'm just doing line work, I want it consistently. However, that doesn't mean you can't do it in multiple firings. Um, when I'm shading and drawing with it and doing a black and white piece, I will do multiple firings using this technique.
you'll see that I keep looking at this and then going back and refining my lines. Once I fire it, I'm done. So I want to be sure that I'm really happy with what it is I've done. So I refine and I fix and I fix and I refine. Here it is before firing. Thank you so much for watching.